Go ahead, Boots. Oh, right. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's sports. Let's <laughs> sports. Yay. Uh, Boots is not in this particular thing, but he did provide us some, some organ music. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Boots. He is a 70 year old woman that plays the organ. <laughs> it's nice. Go get, some, go get yourself some food. Uh, Trav listen is offline right now, but I'm sure he'll get that Uh-oh. sorted in just a second. Uh, we got uh, Trav as our artist uh, for this hour. Uh, again, if you uh, if you like any of the artists you've seen in any of these segments, uh, reach out in whatever form and uh, ask if they want some commissions, because uh, I've done that, and it's fun. You can make them draw, and as somebody that kind of can only draw like The Simpsons, uh, it's nice to like pay people that can draw to do shit. <laughs> Your Simpsons porn sucks, by the way. <laughs> hey! No, I'm not saying, like... I, I've, on, seen I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I'm saying it's good for a beginner. There's room to grow on. It's just that was, I just that was, that was the there worst twenty dollar no... commission I ever spent. <laughs> it was Jesus. lemon Simpsons porn. <laughs> it was I did not expect this actually. to go this way. I couldn't even get hard. There's I could get no hard at least, but I can get to hard mo- to most things. Man, I really thought it was. You said nice. I get. You gave me. A I two- did say nice. Th- look, I said okay, okay. Yeah. I said that is a really good effort. That is what I said. <laughs> Which is the exact same thing I said to my own dick when trying to <laughs> masturbate to it. Nice job, dick. Keep it up. <laughs> you know what? I dick, I'm, dick, I'm proud of you. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, it, for this hour, uh, we are looking at myself, uh, Bunny Bread, Frank West, still alive. Yeah, Frank does anybody remember the last? Frank West. Do, do you guys remember the last seven hours? I feel like I've just, I don't know. I don't remember them. Uh, there was, Your there was day. Gray. It was Shut gray up. and there was blinking lights. <laughs> <laughs> that game was fucking dog shit. That was that game looked awful. I can't I cannot express to you the despairing rage when I got to level two and it's like it's the old level two, but dispose the bombs now. The last <laughs> break that I was on, I genuinely had to like like dim the screen because I couldn't look at your ugly fucking game anymore. <laughs> I did like your ass. That was yeah, pretty good. That was a, kind of a stacked like ass, day? considering how thick the bitch Six is. Six hours of fat robot ass. Yeah. Thick Dave, man. He's good. Um, <laughs> the, thickest, the thickest Dave. Anyway, uh, Frank West still alive. Jimmy Franks back with us. Hi, Jimmy Franks. Hey, I fell asleep for about two minutes. Ooh, how about yeah, you? yeah. Uh, two minutes, two and, minutes. Uh, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm really looking forward to being uh, back here after this block. I'm coming back at 6 a.m. my time. Yeah, well, you have no sympathy for me. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Uh, we've also got Stog. Uh, Hi. Hi, Stog. We've got J.W. Friedman again, and uh, our artist is Trav. Welcome back, Trav. Um, I uh, uh, this is always just I'm 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 I'm. It's early enough. I'm still in. I still have a sense of euphoria about this thing. I'm still feeling <laughs> all right. I'm. I know the crash will be hard, but I'm not there yet. So I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, our document uh, provided to us by Cheapskate quite a while ago, um, and uh, this document is called Sports Suck! <laughs> Sports! Look at Sports Ball! <laughs> Um, uh, so, uh, this was, uh, something that, uh, Stog wanted to read, um, and, uh, the intro, uh, again, provided to us by Cheapskate, thank you, Cheapskate, uh, and the intro is, uh, yes, Lemon, I know you don't like sports, but the enemy <laughs> of your enemy is not necessarily your friend. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, I want to welcome you to sportsuck.org. They're a nonprofit. Mm. <laughs> welcome, sports haters. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not everyone is a brain dead sports fan. <laughs> there are millions of us who can't stand professional sports or loud, obnoxious sports fans. Lemon is a pretty good lemon, doesn't he? <laughs> Uh, we're not completely a, unreasonable or intolerant people. We're your neighbors and friends and relatives. We are completely normal people who live ordinary, completely ordinary lives, except for one thing. We cannot understand the attraction or value of sports. Don't misunderstand us. We believe in fitness and staying healthy. 
there's nothing, yeah. there's nothing wrong with a neighborhood softball game working out at the gym or shooting hoops in the driveway. Except we, for the softball and gym and the shooting hoops. But uh, <laughs> Just don't call it sports. Yeah, um, I hate that. <laughs> Stop throwing balls around, idiots. Yeah, so- stupid. We think there's something wrong when people base their lives on the outcome of a game. We think there's right. something wrong when grown men collect baseball cards. <laughs> <laughs> we collect comic books, shithead. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even battle them like Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to pay for the opportunity to watch other people play and have fun. We think there's something wrong when we see people think we're weird because we don't watch sports. We especially think there's something wrong when our favorite TV show is interrupted for a fuck, 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 sporting events. This site is dedicated to free thinking people everywhere who have enough self assurance to resist the influence of the common herd. You are not alone. I am here. Join the. <laughs> All right, so uh so yeah so here we are in the sports suck uh, and there is an essay uh essay coming up here and uh jimmy franks i'd like you to take this essay for me won't you oh uh absolutely absolutely uh thank you thank you <clears throat> uh, this is uh, this is an essay on the superficiality and naivete of physical <laughs> education in high school. <laughs> hmm. uh, what a you dream. know, uh, to quote uh, Woody Allen from Annie Hall. Ooh, uh, an excellent uh, choice. Uh, oh, you yeah. know, you know, we had a saying uh, that those who can't do teach, and ah, those who... I like that. I like that. That's good. <laughs> That's good. You those... just made that up, did you? Yeah, and those who can't teach, <laughs> teach Jim. <laughs> oh, Woody Allen! Oh, oh. oh man, my sides. Hey, oh. Uh, and then I uh, and then I quote the uh, dictionary uh, and just and uh, the definition of physical education, just to you know, just to just to just to be a little more condescending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, upon thinking, I've come up with a list of seven reasons that mandatory physical education classes are unnecessary and even contradictory in high school. Wow, uh, this is long. <laughs> uh, I have no problem with such classes in primary schools or elective high school physical education, but the classes against which I am arguing are clearly unnecessary for these reasons, which <laughs> which I shall now explain. Uh, I'd be happy to debate anyone on the topic if any problems found with my argument. Uh, Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Throw shit at this man! Now, uh, uh, to begin with, uh, it's uneducational. Though it may seem a bold statement, Jim teaches nothing. <laughs> I've heard it said often that it teaches uh, how to maintain fitness. It teaches how- homosexuality, thank you. Uh, how to measure I learned a lot. lot. Damn right. Well, look, we, we already have a health education course for one thing. And, and otherwise, if a student's interested in such things, they could take extracurricular classes <laughs> or, or read books on the topic. So unless someone can prove something Jim teaches that nothing else could, uh, this is a central reason. Clearly, all high school courses should teach something. <laughs> Uh, second of all, it's distracting. Uh, gym class is distracting and that it takes a student's mind away from the important classes, such as English, math, science, or history. Uh, yeah, these are classes which must be learned for the student to be effective adult or future college students. Obviously, high school courses should help students learn and concentrate more, not less. <laughs> Uh, uh, yet another reason, perhaps one of the most important, is that Jim detracts from the school altogether. Yeah, so point Whoa. two was, so point two was distracting and point three was detracting. <laughs> yeah. Very well, I just messed up some letters. Uh, st- several classes full of students lose one class every day in gym. Ugh. Jesus yeah, conversely, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jim takes away from grades. Uh, students such as myself may do almost flawlessly in other classes, but Ooh. still have a, a lower average grade because of poor performance in gym. Such I know what you're is, thinking. So <laughs> uh, what such a surprise, right? Yeah. Uh, conversely, students may do poorly in other classes, but perfectly in gym, distorting their grade, however slightly, from their actual accomplishment in school. <laughs> <sighs> I like that you knew that that was bullshit as you were writing it. <laughs> <laughs> I can make the point if you're good at gym and bad at other classes. Oh, it's not no. very good, is it? Oh, <laughs> shrugging shoulders, fucking. 
Right. The ultimate goal, you know, so it's it's also futile, series number four. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. It accomplishes I mean, nothing. futile, though. Jim, Jim does not accomplish anything. Number five, it's superfluous. Right, uh, right. Yeah, the knowledge taught by Jim could be obtained by any inquisitive student in community education, which already exists <laughs> through books this... easily found at the library. Is this really made by nihilistic Arby's? I mean, this is... <laughs> <laughs> we just don't need it. Like we need so many other classes. We're all gonna die horrible deaths alone. Look, to make a gym an elective would be to make this a non-issue. All high school courses, it should be apparent, need to be necessary. It's not superfluous. No other class in, in high school humiliated me as much as gym class did. <laughs> provided a really valuable service. Have you See? ever, have you ever you learned a lot? Have you ever fucking <laughs> struck out at T-ball? Because I have. Reason number six is Brad, who's a big jerk. <laughs> Uh, and uh, reasons number six and seven are basically repeats of uh, reasons one through five. Uh, they're ineffectual and irrelevant. Uh, and I've, I think I've flogged this dead horse quite enough. Thank you very much. Good, 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 good. I want to uh, point out uh, that coming, uh, we are in hour 11. We are coming close to the halfway point. Uh, we are in hour 11 and coming out of the rap section makes me want to what want to you know make some more rap happen in the world i want no. to get some custom rap happening for you the audience so we've got jw friedman in this recording what, and what? uh <laughs> and uh he has a donation incentive he wants to put on uh <laughs> on the board right now uh if you donate 85 dollars or more uh, J.W. Friedman, professional rapper of renown, uh, will write and record a 16-bar rap over an ICP instrumental about the that, subject of your choosing. It's very important that it has to be over an ICP instrumental, though no other track will do. You can, right. you can pick, what could do it justice, yeah. You can Whoa. pick any topic, but it has to be an ICP instrumental. They have solo albums. Are solo albums okay, or is it just ICP? Um, any anything you know that's affiliated with the clown or clown adjacent. I oh, suppose. so even like Twisted would be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, blaze they hate each dead other. homie. They, yeah, I might, I might blaze my dead homie, but uh, <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think Twisted has been ostracized from the psychopathic family, if I remember. Oh correctly. no! So oh that god! Is that is true. <laughs> uh, I think I uh, fucked up the last incentive, so I'm going to enter that in again. Uh, but yeah, eighty-five dollars, uh, eighty-five dollars or more. Uh, we will get you a custom written ICP rap by one and only JW Friedman. Uh, I'm, st let's... I'm very stoked to rap about Mega Man. <laughs> Could I pass mine on to him? <laughs> no tradesies. God damn it. <laughs> um, so we know that sports suck, but, uh, but Jay, I hear that sports fans suck. Is that true? Oh man. It's so true. So true. Uh, sports fans, they're a special breed. I don't mean special as in admirable or interesting or even remarkable. Special house. Let me let me walk down this path. I wonder where we're going. <laughs> I mean special as in completely friggin' retarded. Oh so friggin' A, hey, man. <laughs> friggin' surfers and golfers and pederasts and bowlers and all the other folks uh, who are way too pederasts and bowlers are the same like Holy sport. Christ. Yeah, yeah yep, but fucking yeah. Jesus from uh, Big Lebowski. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well pederasty was it just uh, just introduced to the Goodwill games. It hasn't <laughs> yeah. been oh, I don't know. No, I don't yeah. yet, but right. but there's a groundswell of support for it. Yeah. It's right but, up there with know, skateboarding. Yeah, it's it's all these other folks who are just way too preoccupied by the things they do in their leisure time. They're a different breed. I'm convinced that you have to suffer some sort of uh, genetic variance for the words X isn't just a sport. It's a way of life to come out of your mouth at all, especially when X isn't a real sport to begin with. But when you're talking about people who don't do a damn thing with their leisure time except watch other people who are doing things that are only done because other people will pay to watch them, you're well out of breed and are pushing into species territory. I'm pretty sure they have fewer chromosomes. We dumb. <laughs> we dumb because we watch shit. We stupid. Yeah. I, wonder, we... I wonder what this guy thinks about uh, video games. Well, <laughs> That's different. That's different because video games have thumbs. <laughs> I've, I've been doing extensive field research and um, 
I even met one quite by accident who tried oh. to claim that sports fanaticism is some kind of. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, 27, 69, 69. <laughs> Puppy time. What? How'd you get puppies from that? Oh, 28, 69, 69. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, this guy, he tried to convince me that sports fanaticism is some kind of political movement that would unite the working class from around the world against the corporate oligarchy. He was, I was right. dumbstruck. Not by the profundity of that statement, but by the fact that he correctly pronounced oligarchy and was able to use it in a sentence, all the while being absolutely but ignorant on a much more practical level. Hell he was trying yeah. to pronounce olive oil. He just Hell messed it up. Hell yeah. Being an athletic supporter, wink, wink, is the oh political God. equivalent oh. of a... <laughs> Dicks and balls. Dicks and balls. Dicks and beans. <laughs> I don't see how making people in one town hate people two towns over just because they wear different colored sweatshirts and matching hats could breed any sort of global brotherhood of man. And at any rate, it just pumps more capital into the so-called oligarchy when they pay olive pay oil. Yeah, when they pay eighty dollars for a sweatshirt bearing the logo of a team. <laughs> <laughs> In conclusion, how do you like them bananas? Woo! <laughs> I love bananas. They're good. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Brown and spotty. They're the best. Pudding, uh, <laughs> pudding, pudding, pudding. Stog, I have a very special. Uh, I have a very special reading just for you. You do, and I'm <laughs> pretty sure you know what it is. Yes, I do. So, Stog, you know what you're about to read. Uh, the one thing that I want to put in front of you is it's fucking like a million pages long. Yeah, so I'll just you know, just just work on it. Just dice it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, unless these guys, like, you know, are very succinct and uh, do not repeat points over and over. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a chance we'll have to take. <laughs> oh, man. I love I love that this is from my own hometown. Oh, El Paso under sports dictatorship. I dare oh! call it treason. <laughs> OP by Fat Man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Hey. Okay, this might be kind of long. Sorry about that. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Shit. I desperately need some advice. No. Yesterday, June the 3rd, I had a very rotten day because it was fucking 110 degrees. And that's fucking miserable. And that's all I'm going to have from now on is rotten days. El Paso, Texas is so morally corrupt. In fact, the whole country is so damn rotten and morally corrupt. This whole fucking world is so corrupt i don't really want to live it anymore whoa whoa okay, whoa, okay, whoa. Take, okay. a, take a second take a second hey, take hey, a hey, hang on here pal you know what you should do you should kill yourself <laughs> i think i'm already in hell just just take I'm some just saying i'm take just some saying oxygen, cool off and uh <laughs> frank west frank west i wanted to talk to you about the most recent donation <laughs> oh really can you, you? yeah can you explain what the most recent donation is okay the most recent donation is from a user named frank west dad for a hundred dollars and uh -oh. he, i will just set this up my dad stopped by earlier today to pass off some stuff that he needed to give me and he said oh are you doing it right now the stream and i said yeah and he's like oh i'd really like to give how can i do it and i started describing I'm like oh, i don't know the link you'll have to go to the website and the look that came over his face was like a mixture of pride and just really being very uncomfortable and he's like really pride. why don't i just give you the money how about you donate for me and, and i'll give you the money later <laughs> So that's that is uh I put up the, his hundred dollars for him. Oh, Yay! And he does not no. get an ICP rep. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> well, who'd have thunk it? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Victor. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Frank West Dad. Uh, again, uh, thank you, Puppy Time, for going over the limit uh, for your rap. Uh, Compot uh, donated forty five dollars and forty nine cents. Bunny bread for bunny bread for rap president. Uh, but song, sorry, <laughs> keep going. Uh, uh, yesterday morning, I got up at seven a.m. and left for home on the bus at eight a.m. to go to the Albertson supermarket to get some groceries and to buy an a money order to pay my rent. And as I then I walked across the street as usual to sit down at the bus stop to return home but as i approached the bus stop guess what 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 what
the two benches were taken away. <laughs> so I would have oh, no. to stand up in the hot sun waiting for a bus instead of sitting down. The bus stop is in front of the Don Haskins Sports Center. Standing on your own two legs? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Classic, oh, classic God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm physically handicapped. I have arthritis right. in both ankles and both knees, and I walk with a cane. Uh, my arthritis doesn't bother me too much when walking as long as I don't have to walk too far, but when it comes to standing for God only knows how long in the hot sun waiting for a bus, that's when my arthritis bothers me the most. Because it's and completely that, made up. <laughs> and that's sports? Sports fault? Sports fault? Yes! <laughs> but if I must be out in the hot sun, I would rather sit down and wait for a bus instead of having to stand up like a jackass in this donkey-fucking fascist Nazi redneck town! <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You remember when we exterminated all the Jews because they couldn't, you know, play volleyball very well? <laughs> Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we were all we're all well, in agreement on that. That was a good well, play, El right? Well, El Paso did that. There's no minorities in El Paso. <laughs> well, no. Jesus Christ. No. There's just Stog and several other white people. Yeah, ex, ex <laughs> ex Thank God now right. that we've done the right thing. We had the final solution to the volleyball problem. <laughs> oh. Whew. Well, they said they could send a Sun Metro van to pick me up and give me a ride downtown. I wasn't expecting a ride all the way home, but only to downtown where I usually transfer forward to another bus to go home. I use the city buses because I don't have my own transportation. No one likes to ride with you? <laughs> a nice young lady offered to give me a ride downtown, but the Walgreens manager told her not to wait, told her not to because I must wait for the Sun Metro van. <laughs> you, they've been warned about you <laughs> and then some and then some bullshit happens where he has to wait until 2 p.m for a uh for the for the bus to come here or yeah, yeah. take a cab home and now he's dead yeah now he's dead that's that's precisely what happened well i was not <laughs> gonna pay 20 dollars for a cab so i got pissed off and said i'm not giving the el paso local chapter of the neo-nazi party one red cent <laughs> and then i said okay i'm gonna wait for the fucking bus setting up like a jackass with the hot set for god only knows how long i'm not gonna like it whoa He's right. He's right. I was so pissed off. I stood there at the bus stop, hot sun beating down, screaming out loud over and over again. Fuck you, El Paso. <laughs> Fuck you, Sun Metro. Fuck this yeah. rotten Nazi yeah. fascist. Nazi sports town. No, why is sports make it hot outside? Yeah, yeah. Sports make global warming. Right. Yeah, yeah. You fucking yeah. Nazi sports White town. White Nazi fuckers. <laughs> I saw three orange cones there on the sidewalk, and I tossed each one out into the middle of the street. Yeah. 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 That'll teach him. Yeah. That'll teach him to have orange cones. Fuck Hell faces. Yeah. Next time, have blue ones. Stupid. None of that shit over he here. Dicks, Locked, man. Woo. Well, somebody called the cops. Uh oh. Two cop cars arrived. An officer asked if I was the one who tossed the big orange cones out to the street. And I said, No, sure, I'm too arthritic to pick up cones. <laughs> and I said, Yes, officer, I'm oh. the culprit. And then he explained some bullshit to the officers, and they don't give a fuck. And then. <laughs> Um, and at what said, point did you scream am I being detained though <laughs> go friend uh, and then he and then he gets mad because uh, he can't fit the uh, backseat of the cop car so... <laughs> Jesus Christ fat people and Jesus then he goes, Christ and then... fat people <laughs> they're tiny little cars crown Vicks really really yeah small. no no the clown cars I mean they gave him yeah 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 they gave him these little wind ups Oh shit! Can can I interrupt for one second? Because mm. I I'm I'm racking my brain here, yeah. trying to think of what professional sports organizations are in El Paso, and all I can think of is a Double A baseball team. Stock. <laughs> what professional there's, sports are in El Paso? There's the UTEP two step. Maybe there's there's a uh, yeah <laughs> UT El Paso right. Ah, and that's okay. all you got. And, and to say it's professional is kind of a wink and a nod. <laughs> it's college football. <laughs> We have a call. I could think of was the Chihuahuas, the El Paso yeah. Chihuahuas. Yeah, yeah. That's the so. that's that's the El Paso. That's the baseball team El Paso is trying to push, and it doesn't. It's not really working out. Um, but we do have a, we do have college football and college basketball. Right. Oh, okay. Nazi All right. Sorry. Sorry football. for the 
It'll He's angry at all three equally, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, me too. Fuck them, Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you know, right now, the sun beating down on the retard with the fucking going on his head. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, after I came home, I called El Paso Sun Metro, the city bus system, and asked to speak with their supervisor. Well, they called me back and informed me that the UTEP Don Haskins Sports Center requested that the two bus stop benches be removed. Ooh, yeah. that's so like to hear fuck you very much yeah! how far are we <laughs> into your goddamn ranch <laughs> we will yeah. never be out we will never end no this is we're not even halfway through the woods here <laughs> Shit. So now then i, I said to the rant again but there's detonators this is like that <laughs> batman thing from last year <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh yeah um so basically he's he said he said, since when do we let a rape gang control what goes on in this town? And then, Jesus. well, a few hours later, there was a knock on my door. I got up to answer the door, and two police officers said they wanted to question me. And they assured me I was not under arrest. And they, they informed me that they had received a complaint from Sun Metro concerning some terroristic verbal threats that I had made over the phone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But And... And then a bunch of then a bunch of bullshit happens, and then oh. this, and then he goes on to say, "But I guess the UTEP rape gang they must believe that the streets of El Paso, Texas, is their property." That's Why did fucking- UTEP change their names anyway? The UTEP rape gang it doesn't really flow. It's just. <laughs> Looks I don't know why they changed their mascot either to just be, you know, a frat boy with a condom on. I mean, they used to be the UTEP pedophiles, so you know. Yeah, it, that worked. I mean, that identified. <laughs> Oh uh, my god. We are cutting no, back on academics, no, no, sacrificing in favor of athletics. No. And then blah blah blah. Stog it hurts. Yeah, I know. I'm done. <laughs> okay. I'm not reading it. I'm Your not reading town it. hurts us. Thanks, yeah. Stock, stock, That's what stock. it does. You've got to read the last three paragraphs, the really short ones at the end. They're amazing. Uh which one? Jesus. Uh, okay, one. Perhaps. Jesus. Perhaps. Uh, there's a paragraph? Okay, so where perhaps. is I... Perhaps. That is eight fucking pages of rant. <laughs> perhaps. It's on page 15. Okay, yeah, yeah, perhaps on, uh, yeah, page f- f- late, late 14, early 15. Okay. Uh, perhaps one day, about 10 years from now, my bleached bones will be found laying out in the desert sun several miles outside of town. I fear my days are numbered. Right. I pray that God takes me in my sleep before that happens. Before your bones are bleached. Wait, yeah. they're, they're, they're going to rape your bones. Is that right? That's so dumb. That's so the dumb. UTEP bone rapers are in the building, people. Oh, that's so dumb. This uh, is the worst. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Frank West. Hey, Frank West. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, your name is also uh, Blast Flame. Um, <laughs> and there's a, there's a particular problem that you've had with sport. <laughs> what what is that problem? <laughs> yeah. Oh this God. Me, oh God. You knew this shit was coming. Sport yeah. is corrupting the video game industry. Damn. Sport is starting to infect the video game industry. I've been saying this for years. Sport games are already the most popular genre of video games. How long before good innovative games are canceled in favor of higher selling sport games? Sport games have no innovation and couldn't even if they tried. Yeah. Can't add a new feature to Madden because then it wouldn't be a football game. No. <laughs> the, closest, yeah. right. the closest I get to doing this is adding sim modes around the core sport game. They fucking made Mutant League football again. Like, what are Damn you complaining right. about? <laughs> I can't rules. I have There's never no- beat a game and score. <laughs> There's that one where the robots, your players are robots, and the ball blows up on fourth down. That one's hell yeah, (laughs) yes, that shit's perfect. So now you're taking games that would have been good and making them sports. (laughs) (laughs) Why, why mutant league football? Why not mutant league first person shooter? That's why. Good point. Good point. First person shooter. That's an unexplored territory. I got a, I got a pitch for you. What if it's a first person shooter and you shoot zombies? (laughs) (laughs) Say that again. I'm no. writing this down. <laughs> I'm listening. These are the good ideas that aren't getting funded because there's like five Maddens a year, I assume. Yeah, exactly. And all the other games are getting cancelled. 
Some people even want normal video games turned into esports with cyber athletes. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Well, this is no longer me. Never mind. It would tie <laughs> video games down like sport is because adding a new feature might hurt that cyber athlete that was training for three years. <laughs> Single player games would also die out, I guess. I'm just sure. Motion detecting controllers also worry me. Worry? <laughs> what? what if they catch me jerking off? <laughs> if used correctly, they will be a new interesting way to control games. If my fears come true, they will evolve. Devolve would be a better word. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I love watching this wordplay happen real time. Yeah, you see, he added a D on the front of that word. That makes it smarter. To a point in which your skill and intelligence do not matter in the next big first-person shooter. Instead, it relies on how fast you can run. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. My signature is the world is helping sport and attacking freedom. Jesus, Don't let yeah. this happen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy hates QSAR. <laughs> I love, I love too, like that you would bring evolution into it, like, like over time, humanity has gotten thinner, more muscular, and more athletic. <laughs> they live longer as a result of better health. <laughs> okay, uh, I need some, uh, I need some advice. Um, funny bread, funny bread. Yeah. I need some advice. What? Uh, you're gonna okay. Good. Uh, so uh, your name is your name is Cujo the Nasty. <laughs> Goddamn right, <what? laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. so, you, so you're Cujo the Nasty and right? uh, hey, Bunny Bread. Uh, yeah. uh, how do I beat up Jocks? <laughs> you say uh, beat, beat, you beat, beat, beat off Jocks? <laughs> what else? Like, listen, whatever gets me out of this locker. <laughs> Beating up or off jocks. <laughs> How it's done. <laughs> Woo, shit. Okay, people. As a public ball, service, you know. <laughs> I will tell you all, once and for all, how to deal with obnoxious jocks. All right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah. So they all got dicks, right? So yeah. they all want to be stroked, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. So that's a different, you know, okay. All right, all right. I've gotten <laughs> off topic already, right? That's Not right. Tangler. <laughs> Grasshoppers. The master is going to teach something valuable. Okay. I know a lot of you feel discouraged. Feel like the jocks in your school are untouchable. That's true. That's true. I do go to jo I do go no, to school. No, I feel they're very hopes. touchable. <laughs> go to Jockland school, right? Jocks, jock mix, jock bees. <laughs> the, hmm. Yes. That's quite a sense. I, I, I said jocks a lot. The jocks feel the same way too. They feel like they're untouchable, as if, you know, they're the ghosts or some shit. <laughs> However, you all sell yourselves short. Inside of a bookworm who'd rather learn something useful than go chase a stupid ball, there is a seething, jock-crushing monster who's downright sick of it all. Sick of the jocks. <laughs> sick of the apparent worship of the jocks. And sick of all the attention they get from the high school bitches. <laughs> Sick of the emphasis on sports over actual learning. That's right. You're all trying better. Wait, you're all trying to better your. You're all trying to stroke jock. Dick. We're all trying to better our. We're all, all trying, trying to, to better, better ourselves. ourselves. You're all trying I'm to get trying drunk to and shit jock, in order dick. to survive the next seven hours. Mm -hmm. You're all trying to better yourself, but a bunch of mouth breathers and school uniforms get all the perks and the breaks. Doesn't that make you pissed, huh? Huh, nerds? Huh? Well, I've always felt that these Shut are up! the breaks. Oh. What if you ever had a girlfriend cheat on you with a jock? It's never happened to me. <laughs> you know, never once. Oh my God, but I had the in the parenthetical. Yeah, but I had the best to try. Yeah, I growl and I fall in the mouth. Shit. Uh, are you angry now? Huh? Hell now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, get that anger. Yeah, use it wisely, grasshoppers. I should probably think of something else to get you pumped up. Instead of grasshoppers. Come on now. Okay, so so uh, you have way more preamble than is necessary. Uh, but uh, what? scrolling down a bit, you've got a uh, bulleted list, or sorry, a, an enumerated list. Uh, can you tell me, uh, go through the enumerated lists? 
Yeah, now, this describes the ideal situations. However, violence is a random thing. It just strikes out of nowhere. You know, violence kills people. Just, yeah. Here are a few points to remember in all situations. A jock usually has to get pumped up before he can do anything. So what? while he's standing there, <laughs> talking big and getting all huffy, <laughs> cut the bullshit and just get him. Like this, <laughs> boys and girls. Remember that. How to yeah, beat cool. up a jock. Punch a jock. <laughs> yes. You have listened. Okay, that's good. All right. Two, he can't punch you if his arms are immobilized. So cut off his arms. <laughs> Just he can't punch his you arms. if he's not in the room. <laughs> he's a if you're talking shit on Twitter, Twitter, he can't punch you. If he swings, catch him by the wrist and try and bend a finger back. That seems simple, doesn't it, nerds? It sure <laughs> does, yeah. A couple. Maybe grab rather a ton of fingers. Grab like 50 of them. Don't stop until they break. And then punch his knuckles real hard. So he screams and goes down. So step, one, step one and step two are both be stronger than him. Yep, exactly. <laughs> be stronger and faster. This is what you're good at. That's why you're nerds. Okay. This is why you have Tolkien. You gotta lift right. you gotta use the Tolkien as a weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use yeah. Tolkien as a weight. <laughs> Three! No mercy! They never show anyone else any, so why should they deserve it? Anyways, <laughs> good enough. Four. No such thing as cheap. <laughs> cheap, right? Clubs, rocks, yeah. blind sides, attacks from behind, etc. All fair shots. game. <laughs> it's war now, not play. Throw a heavy pole at him. That'll work. Kill him. <laughs> Fuck his mother. <laughs> Dumbest fucking advice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck his father. Five. Kicking in the balls seems a likely solution, but most wear cups. What? And besides, <laughs> yep, uh, many. Oh, like all the time? Like at yes. school? Just yes. Yeah. What are they, they expecting burn... to happen to them? They know of the ball attacks. <laughs> they are jocks. Jocks they... cannot run faster than nerds. It's it's in the rules. It's just science, people. But most wear cups. And besides, it's very risky because those balls can swallow you now. <laughs> Some get an adrenaline burst instead of going down. <laughs> oh, man. I got the endorphin high from being kicked in the balls. Thanks, kid. <laughs> you played right into my hand. You fool! <laughs> Good luck getting your foot back. You're at 3,000 motherfucking goddamn son of a bitch and dollars. Fuck, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jai. Uh, 1580 put us uh, exactly at three grand. Thanks, Jai. Nice. Thanks, Thanks Jai. Jai. Yeah. Thanks to the rest of you, obviously. But now! we'll chime more just for the last few. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the most important. Yeah. Really, was, that was the number that really mattered here. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember two now. People, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jack's going to get the beat down. It's always better to do this in front of his whole team. <laughs> 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 Choose your spots wisely. Then point at the rest of them and say, "You're next." <laughs> as soon as I get my foot out of this guy's balls, <laughs> his balls are sucking me in. Oh I'm God! To to. <laughs> he has such a big nutsack now. He's containing me. You would think they'd jump in, but surprisingly enough, most will just stand there and laugh at one of their own. <laughs> And laugh at you, flailing your arms ineffectually against him. Right, <laughs> pull at his dick. That's true. They don't have any sort of like, uh, I don't know, like uh, teamwork. Like, no, like don't groups. exist. They like if there was a group, they all belong to. Yeah. <laughs> they might they have no loyalty. None. Sports teach loyalty. Bullshit. <laughs> now. Now, boys and girls, I've imparted my wisdom. Go, grasshoppers, and ruin a potential sports career today. You can do it! Cut yeah. his fucking balls off! What? Kumate. Oh, holy Kumate. shit! You heard me! Yeah. <laughs> but, Kumate. but he'll take the knife away from me. Well, take the balls away from me! <laughs> 
Oh, some of the dumbest advice we've ever had on the show. Yes. <laughs> Punch him. Be faster and stronger than him. Why aren't you in sports? When you get him down on the mat, don't waste time doing the taunt to your crowd. If your power meter is full, <laughs> use your signature move immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, uh, uh, okay, Jay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you recently had a victory over the sports barbarians. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did. As a matter of fact, it involved cutting off so many balls. Uh, <laughs> these, these Trav drawings are great, too. Everything's great. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Oh, that's me. Um, I am FSR, and uh, here's my victory. Give my family the March Madness list of teams to gamble away once hard-earned money was presented to me. Now, I hate all sports the same, that is to say, with a passion, and they know it. Mm. So instead of kneeling in the dust and swearing fealty to their chosen and anointed teams, I fought mm -hmm. back with this. Ooh. My dragonborn ranger just reached level nine after fighting a pureblood Yon Tai and his lizard uh, folk minion. Oh, <laughs> that, was a, that was a very quick turn. That was a very quick turn. What? They said, and I quote, duh, what is a dragonborn? <laughs> and duh, you mean like Lord of the Rings? Duh. Duh. <laughs> duh. Duh, duh. duh. Well, that is, I mean, they are, be fair, they are jocks. They are. <laughs> then it was time to rub it in. Two weeks ago, we defeated a white dragon in his lair and took his stuff. My ranger had two arrows of dragon slaying and shot God. twice, oh making God. a critical hit, adding a hail of thorns spell on him. <laughs> do you guys get it now when I try to make you do March Madness? Do you get it? <laughs> <laughs> You finally understand how difficult this shit is. <laughs> the differences between Dungeons and Dragons and fantasy sports are different. In Dungeons and Dragons, the players use strategy that they came up with and characters they created to solve problems fight monsters. It also promotes cooperative narrative and good fellowship. Fantasy sports is just a testosterone rage fest and a fight waiting to happen. No, no, no. Because while I do not watch sports, I do go to bars and I have seen people play fantasy sports. And if your idea of testosterone laden men is like 35 year old guys that are allowed by their wives to go out to the bar and work on Excel while drinking yeah. water, right? <laughs> Baseball, sometimes <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> Baseball prospectus is a fucking hive of, of villainy. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the looks on their faces was worth the risk of being assaulted. Yeah. They still don't get how much I hate sports. Well, boy, really? you'll, you'll show them. I didn't tell them. How is that a victory if it closes with they still don't get it? I ran away! <laughs> I win! And that's I made why myself I look like a fucking dweeb in front of my family. I win! Woohoo! Damn, hey, you want to do this thing with us? I play Skyrim. Oh. <laughs> hey, do yeah, you what does that do have to do with thing with yeah. us, though? I play Dungeons and Dragons too. Okay, I'm just, I'm just asking, man. Like, ah, you've been down in the basement know. for a long time now. We're all over <laughs> here having Thanksgiving dinner. What the fuck? Let's see. So, uh, so, oh, Frank West, it's not your last hour. Who's, whose last hour is it that I'm going to give the all caps thing to? Oh, Stog. <laughs> Hey! Oh, it's your last oh, hour. I love it. He loves all caps. I love all right. the all caps. <laughs> so, oh shit! I think this is the same guy as the last <laughs> fucking idiot that you read. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. my god! Okay, so stock. <laughs> your, your name is Fat Man. This post is in like 22 point font. That's all red. <laughs> and what is it called? Uh, sports must be outlawed and sports fans in prison now. Yeah, yeah. He's right. <laughs> How else would we make progress? Yeah, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Okay, this is it. I have had it. I don't know how the fucking hell this happened, but when I checked my online bank account that's online, I discovered that my <laughs> bank account was overdrawn by $40, and it appears I had made a purchase from Plea Star Plemus Plemus, because whoever the fuck that is. Yeah. Sports. Yeah, yeah, sports. So I called yeah, my bank sports. sports. 
I called my bank's toll-free number and I filed a claim. It shows that I ordered some kind of computer software. I did not place such an order. I don't Fuck know you, how somebody, somebody matched, get my debit card number. Fuck. Probably sports. sports people are good at that. Sports. <laughs> In the meantime, when my checks come into my direct deposit, when it comes time to pay my rent to the third of the month, I will not be able to draw money from an ATM machine. No! <laughs> oh, no. I'll have to get in a line, a long, long line, to right. draw cash to buy groceries. So for the next seven to day, ten days, I'm fucked. Thank you, sports fans. Yeah, <laughs> sports <laughs> fans. <laughs> Wait. What's the through line there? Like, how are they responsible for that? That line does not exist for Texas sports fans, period, <laughs> at all. <laughs> they just go right to the front line and say, yes, I am stupid and a jock. <laughs> I would like my free money, please, because I'm yes, dumb. Yes, here you go, because you are good at sports. <laughs> yes, yes I am very stupid. Now. Thank you. We will have the sex now. <laughs> oh, okay. Which yeah. way would you like it? Can we make him watch? <laughs> I want to make the vagina hurt. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The through line here is you sports fours expect everybody to love sports? Sorry, but I can only hate sports, and I hate all of you low-life criminal scumbags who have anything to do with sports. I cannot like what has destroyed my life. I cannot like shit. I cannot like what was evil. And all you sports fans and all you jocks, you are lower than Satan's toe jam. I want and all sports fans and there all jocks to crawl to a sword. <laughs> die right now. Let me like just me. Die, 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 die. Crawl to a sword. Die. <laughs> if you go up to an ATM, it'll just be like, hey, what's thick David's RBI? And if you give the right answer, it gives you free money. <laughs> Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know Thick David had a background. Yeah. Thick David is not, he's a porn star, by the way. He's not a, he's not a baseball guy. His RBI, though, is like, ah. Uh... Oh, uh... I, I, I tried to look up what PLI Plimus Plimus was during this, but I, I found nothing except for various Plimus, 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 I imagine it has something to do with Why don't it has a real big brown briefer and scroll so all the free? God damn it, you beat me in my ass. What a careful setup that totally got punished from you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take. Uh, I want to take. Uh, oh man! Oh, this is a funner thing than I thought it would be. Um, um, I'm going to take one quick one. Uh, I'm going to skip over stinking sports. They can stick sports. <laughs> <laughs> Where exactly? Um, but anyway, I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take this one. Um, this is another one by Fat Man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, another quote about me from Girl Vinyl on her trashy webpage. Well, some look up to him for his ability to cause so much rage. Other wish this fat fuck would stop living off a, quote, measly $650 a month of government monies and go exercise and play some sports. Yeah, right. I have arthritis in both knees and both ankles. I'm expected to play some sports. <laughs> yeah, right. By the way, I have the kind of arthritis that apparently is like weather sensitive. Who who is he talking to? Is is he the like the local opinion writer for the the Penny Trader? Uh, you know the the little newspaper you get I at the got restaurant. A lot of all the shouting ads. matches at the bus stop. <laughs> Fat man, this was supposed to be a review of the Jill Sobele um, <laughs> concert. I don't know where you went with this, but it's, yeah, okay. So here's the thing about that Jill Sobele concert. I was once suspended from school because I failed to climb a rope in the gymnasium due to a yeah. criminal oh, left knee. Oh, so he writes for Pitchfork. Okay. But that didn't matter to the physical education coach. I got suspended just for simply because I was unable to climb the stupid rope. Never mind that I was passing all my other academic subjects. Rope climbing was more important than science math, reading, writing, geography, history, etc., etc. She is one ignorant slut! Oh. Jane, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. Jane, you whore. 
And if these drooly, gooly, athletic monkey boys and sports fans are too stupid and moronic to learn how to read and write <laughs> beyond the second grade level, they should just go bag groceries or sign shoes or scrub <laughs> toilets and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I consider my disability check as a retirement pension mm. from doing the most dangerous job there is in our schools. Hunting man. <laughs> it was being used as a human punching bag or a human tackling dummy for the jocks to practice on. I am I am retired from beating beat up by jocks in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I'll do I don't do that no more. You gotta stop kicking my ass. Generous pension. Mm. Mm. No, instead of after years of getting beaten around and all kinds of fucked up in the head, we have to apply for disability checks, which is actually a retirement pension for being used as human punching bags or human tackling dummies. Did I go through that? I am a deep <laughs> yeah. guy. He, nope. he repeats himself a lot. Not enough. Well, I'm going to make a dramatic and very true statement. Also, since that job was assigned to me involuntarily without pay, then it is not a job, but is actually a form of slavery. <laughs> Bingo! Uh, wait, oops. <laughs> Let me... Uh, 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 oh, the wrong one. That was, that's the one I meant. Yay! There we go. <laughs> Uh, if I recall collectively, slavery was abolished. So when mm -hmm. the PE coaches in my school decided that some of us are to be used as human tackling dummies or human punching bags by the jacks, the PE coaches in this place slavery on me, which is unconstitutional. Am I being detained? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and more. <laughs> uh, what do we so learn from much. Um, Oh, I, God. Hey. Uh, uh, at the at the bottom here, one yeah. thing I learned uh, is yeah. I don't know if anyone here likes punk rock or not, but go find a great anti sports anthem by the Dead Kennedys from the <laughs> Frank and Christ album Jockorama, circa nineteen eighty five. You can view the words to the song here. Who wants to listen to Frank and Christ? <laughs> Someone who posts on sports. Everyone oh, okay, in this enough. goddamn forum. Fair yeah. <laughs> Or Fresh no, fruit I mean, for rotting vegetables is the best one. So. Yeah, we we yeah we we know there's there's only a couple Dead Kennedys albums. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I I, uh, I I was totally like I started out genuinely a little bit sympathetic because I was like, well, I also agree that like there's too much uh, attention paid to sports, specifically because I'm really bad at sports and I don't like them. So therefore, nobody should applaud things that I don't like. Um, <laughs> But uh, so no one should go to Star Wars movies. Is that? Oh yeah, exactly. That's a okay. really good rule. I like that yeah. a lot. All right. Okay. Um. So, but yeah, this uh, they lost me uh, very quickly <laughs> when they started saying things. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> I feel no, no. terrible for these people. <laughs> I just, I, I really feel bad for them. Good. They're living high on the hog. They're, you're right. You're right. I mean, after all, one of them died from waiting for a bus. So, <laughs> and that's rough. That well, is yeah, rough. The, the sun was so hot that it heated up his blood. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. No, I mean, as ways to go, that's, that's how you want to do it. Right. That's just oh, man. shit. I, I, I really, I, I was trying. Oh, Christ. Yeah. I, uh, I felt bad for every single one of these archetypes in high school and I wanted to help them. And then if I had known these people, I would have kicked the shit out of them. <laughs> you can't try to help them because they'll beat you up. Uh, yeah, you don't know. They totally could have, too, because they're so much faster and stronger. We're going to be coming into the next hour. Uh, the next hour is Yahoo Answers Mythology, which is very exciting. Oh, yes. uh, we yeah. Also, we will also have our second battle coming up in the next hour. Uh, your host is uh, John Toast, and then we've got uh, Lemon, Frank West, Jimmy Franks, J.W. Friedman, and your artist is Lady Frenzy. So stick around. We'll be back uh, eventually. Bye.